Hi everyone, my name is Ashley Gatewood and I am the Communications and Marketing Director at CFRE International and today I am speaking with Stephanie Maitland who is based in Auckland, New Zealand. Stephanie is a fundraising consultant at Maitland & Associates. She has been a CFRE since 1998 and in this year, 2023, she will be celebrating her 25 year anniversary as a CFRE. So thank you, Stephanie, so much for having some time to catch up with me today. Thanks, Ashley, nice to be here. Excellent. And so I wanted to ask you back 25 years ago, what was it that initially made you think I will become a CFRE? 25 years, goodness, where's that time gone? Um, I initially became a CFRE because I knew that fundraising was going to be my career. It interested me, it excited me, it challenged me. It was what I wanted to do. So becoming a CFRE just made sense. Um, it's important to me to have the qualifications and in this case, the certification to not only do my job, but to have the confidence that I knew what I was doing and the knowledge to do my job well. Uh, another reason was that at the time, CFRE was relatively new in New Zealand, and I, along with others, wanted to raise the profile of fundraising for it to be seen as a legitimate career path. And there was a real push to get eligible fundraisers to complete the application and sit the exam. Excellent. And it's cool to hear that 25 years ago, you were among the first people in New Zealand to earn their credentials. So that's quite exciting. And for fundraising professionals in New Zealand, what would you say the CFRE can do for them in regards to helping them increase their fundraising knowledge and on-the-job confidence? Yeah, I think working to obtain your CFRE has many advantages. Not only could you gain an international certification at the end, you spend time revising, reading and studying to ensure you have the knowledge across all the exam areas that time spent studying will emphasize what you already know, no doubt remind you of things you would have forgotten, but gives you the opportunity to learn more in areas that mightn't be where your current um, day job focuses and but will certainly be of use as your um, career progresses. If you join a study group, you get to meet with other fundraisers, build a network of people to um, connect with, um, build, contact when in doubt, be a sounding board for a new idea, all of which can be real confidence boosters for you. Those are all really fair points. And I know New Zealand has a very um, committed fundraising scene at this time and has a lot of wonderful people working in the sector. So you make some very good points for those people as they want to go forward in their career. But looking at New Zealand, which has its own fundraising scene and, and its own culture very much. So what do you think having a globally recognized credential brings in the terms of say maybe cross-border fundraising or other benefits for people in New Zealand? I think it's important for any fundraising professional regardless of where they live to hold a global credential. You know, we actively seek suitably qualified professionals when needed, a, a plumber, an electrician, a lawyer, an accountant. You know, fundraisers should be no different. Being a CFRE should be an industry standard that employers actively seek, a benchmark that all fundraisers should be working towards, a goal that not-for-profit CEOs should really support their staff to reach. You know, New Zealand is a fabulous little country that I think everyone should, should visit that is consistently at the top of the World Giving Index. And we have over 25,000 registered charities uh, and it's important that they have suitably qualified staff, including CFREs, that are to give donors, funders, CEOs and boards confidence in the principles and practices that are being used to raise funds. The more CFREs we have, the stronger the profession would be, not only in New Zealand, but worldwide. Excellent. Yeah, he makes some very good points there. And I think sometimes when people are in a smaller country, perhaps they don't always see how a global credential would ladder up to what they're doing. But at the same time, it's great to have that benchmark for your practice against best practices and what's globally mm -hmm. accepted to be ethical. Absolutely. 
Well, thank you so much for having some time to chat with me today, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. And it was great to speak with you. Congratulations on your 25 year anniversary this year. Thanks, Ashley. Always good to chat with you. Take care.